Yeah. Got a chip in the windshield. See if we can fix it. Okay guys, so as you've seen, we've got a chip in this windshield. We actually have a couple of them. But this is the worst one. We're going to try to fix it with this stuff here. Uh, I do believe we bought this at the As Seen on TV store. It doesn't say it As Seen on TV on it. But um, I'm pretty sure that's where we got this at. Because uh, we needed it. So let's lay this out here. I'm gonna to try to beat the rain. It should. It's supposed to only take 20 minutes. So I've already read up on on the instructions. You know, you got to clean your windshield and um, you got your little bag of goodies here, and you have your instructions here. So let's get. Let me get you set up here with the camera. And make sure I've read everything right on here and here's the instructions kind of shows you a little bit there and then let's go from there okay guys so I open up the pack and you got this little plastic thing right here that you have to put over the windshield and look at it can you see that can you see how fucked up that is? 12 bucks, and this thing's fucked up. I can't even use it. So, this video is going to be a little rant about stupid shit like this. $12, and that's already fucked up. You can't use it. Now, this pisses me off. You know, we spend our hard-earned money. You know, I didn't even put, in, put anything together. All I did was, was pull that out of the bag. See, nothing's put together. And and you have to use this, and it has to be flat. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe if I turn it sideways. Look at that. It has to be flat. That's fucked up. I can't use it. Now, twelve dollars. I'm really, I'm really mad, guys. Uh, I understand, you know, things aren't made like like they used to be, but you know, w when you buy a product and you can't even use it, I mean, twelve bucks. Now, we bought this about an hour away from us, so. That's gas money to take that back. You know, that's probably five dollars worth of gas to take that back to get another one. And what if it's the same way? Then I gotta take it back, take it back. I, I, I'm just so fed up with that shit. It's not right. You know, these manufacturers anymore, they don't care about the consumer, they don't care about the public, they don't care about you, and they don't care about me. So why the fuck should we care about them? This is bullshit. You know, it doesn't matter what it is. I, I mean, you know, I bought a can opener one day. Granted, I bought it at, at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. But I got it home and I couldn't even use it. Couldn't even fucking use it. It was it was broke when I got it home. Who, who thinks to check a can opener, you know, just, just to turn can opener? So I'm going to use what? Another dollar's worth of gas, two dollar's worth of gas to take it back? That's stupid. That's stupid. You know, I don't know what's going on with the world today, but you know, when I do something, and let's say, let's say, you know, I buy something, I fix it up to sell, like, you know, that bicycle of hers, it was right when it left here. I sold it. It was right. Then people's not gonna have any problems with it for a long time. When I work on something for somebody, it doesn't leave my shop until it's right if it's not right it's not going anywhere 
what's this shit? Packages up, somebody will buy it and just end up throwing it away. Well, I, I'm not going to do that. Next time I'm in that area, I'm not only going to return it and get another one and open it right in front of them, and this will be on camera. I'm going to chew their asses for selling this shit. You know, and I know a lot, a lot of my haters are going to say, "Well, you can't, you can't blame the store people." Yeah, I can. Don't sell this shit, because I'm damn sure I'm not the only one that keeps returning shit. That makes them look bad. I know if I was selling a product out of my little garage here, and it kept coming back, if it came back twice, I ain't, I, I, I'm, I'm not going through that company again. I'm going to go through a reputable company. I'm going to go through a company that don't have them kind of fucking problems. And that's what you guys should do if you own stores that have this shit keep coming back. I don't care how much it is. I don't care if it's $12 or $0.12. Cents. If it says it's going to do it, I want it to do it. So, hope you guys have are having a great Saturday. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching my video. Sorry about the rant, but this pisses me off. I get out here. It's hotter than hell. It's 109 real feel. It's uh, 99 regular temperature. I'm out here trying to do this, you know. I mean, just to, to we can get time to get the windshield replaced. Because down here in Florida... If you get a crack or a chip in your windshield, you can have it replaced on your insurance for free once a year. Um, this windshield's already been replaced twice. So I'm just trying to get it by until we can get the time to have this thing changed. So, and I thought, well, you know, let's go ahead. And I got one starting right over here in the middle, too. It's starting. Because you know all that driving, you're going to get chips like that. So, I mean... So I thought I'd do a video, and and we seen that when we was at the at that store. I forget what I did a review on. I bought something there. That light, I think it was. Yeah, it was. It was that little trouble light thing, that yellow trouble light. I bought it then. But it's going back. I don't even know if I have the receipt, but it doesn't matter. I don't care. That's their sticker. That's where I bought it from. They're going to take it back, and they're going to take an ass chewing too. Uh, like I said, you guys might say, well, it ain't, the, it ain't the store's fault. Yeah, it is, because they're selling this stupid shit. They're selling this stupid shit. You know, I understand, well, it's as seen on TV, yeah, but it's 12 fucking dollars. and going to cost 5 or $6 dollars worth of gas to take it back. Damn, I could have it professionally repaired for 50 bucks. Come on, that's stupid. So anyway, again, thanks for watching, guys. Shea Bear, Myth Man, Legend, I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. junk. Don't buy it.